Uh, hello and welcome to this simple lecture about the standard deviation, the concept matters. Okay, just uh, I will start uh, just uh, to uh, remind you, please uh, remember step by step st uh, structure technique is the best way to learn a biostat. Please remember always. Okay, just we spoke about in the last lectures about the types of variable, we speak about ordinal and nominal, and that can be expressed with a percentage, and we speak about numeric or scale and uh, which is tricky in expression and we spoke about also about standard tendency the concept of mean which is really very important in uh, biostat and we, uh, we uh, also we spoke about the concept of median of the uh, data has extreme data so median is not the typical one but the median should be the one to be used in extreme data okay now going to the uh, central tendency now so just this is a simple example so i had an exam on applied biostat and i got a score of 76 um, uh, from 100 so what you can tell me about my score i'm excellent or bad just hold on and pause and just think okay you can't okay you can't answer this question without knowing what they mean exactly and i'm excellent and bad both possibilities you know de depend on account account on the mean if the mean is 60, it means that most of the people cluster, the most of the people cluster around 60, and I got 76, so it means that I'm excellent. However, if the people uh, clustered or the central tendency or the mean is 90, so I am so far from the mean. See, see here how different mean gives you different answers. So do not answer this question without knowing the mean. As I think now you got the concept of central tendency. Just I'm going to a little bit, going in depth a little bit as I step, as I said, step by step stretch technique. Okay, I had to say this is the same example, but I just give you the mean. The mean is 60. What you can tell me about my score? Can you tell me I'm excellent or bad or what or fair? Really, you can't answer this question without knowing the standard deviation. This is a concept, yeah. So if the the mean is 60, okay, and the standard deviation is five, it means that I am, you know, I am at the third standard deviation, five plus five, 65, 70, okay, and 75, I am at the third standard deviation. It means that I'm excellent. However, if the mean is 15, it means that 60 plus 15, 75, I am, it means that I am on or at the first, the standard deviation. This is, I think this is a, another example to understand that the importance of not only the mean, but the standard deviation. I, I expect that you didn't understand the standard deviation well, but just, just hold on please. Okay, this is uh, just an example. Okay, those numbers just for demo. Okay, I wanna from you to understand the concept only, yes. This is a, an example of a typical histogram of normally distributed data or, uh, for numeric data. Very important, by the way, curve. From this curve, you can get a lot of areas, just a lot of information. Just to go here, you can see what is the mean is nearly 80. Yeah, this is the weight. So here, the mean of, of weight is 80, gram, 80 kilograms. And the standard deviation I got, I can get also the standard deviation from this curve, which is 15. And look to this one, it is bell shaped. I will understand, I will explain now. And this is X, X, uh, this is the X uh, axis, and this is Y, and this is the weight here. You can see 50, 75, 100, and this is the frequency. By single lock, I can say to you, for example, this is the highest weight, this is the 79. Okay, most of the people, uh, the mean here, okay, this is the mean, and nearly one like 160 patient or people had this weight which is nearly 79 or 80 this is the number of population i have this set of uh, data about uh, the bladder tumor which is more than 1000 just i will just go to the sbss just by single click this is the weight i'm just going to analyze descriptive analysis frequency just no need for tables i just i will add weight weight and I just I will add charts and histogram just continue continue yeah this is the uh, this is the this is the typical curve that I bought on the PowerPoint as you see here the same curve the same curve 
exactly on the power point. Just if you wanted to bring the curve, show distribution curve, this is the distribution curve. I got it from my data, which is on SBSS. This is a true, this is my, my information or my database, okay? Just going again to the, um, uh, the presentation. This is named a histogram for normal distributed data. Just I wanna, from you to know the concept, this is the shape of normal distributed data. All the, all the normal distributed data that I spoke uh, on the online video. So the normal distributed data has number one, many criteria, but I wanna from you to, to know three main criteria. Okay, number one is bell-shaped. As you see now, it is bell-shaped. Number two, it is unimodal, it's not bimodal. So one has it, the curve has only one hump, not only two humps, it is unimodal, smoothly unimodal. And then the most important is symmetrical. Symmetrical, if you divide it, if you divide the curve at the mean, this is the mean, and the mean in the middle. The mean centralizes the curve, okay? And you then you can flip both halves together. It is asymmetrical, if you divide it in the middle, okay? This is the criteria of normally distributed curve or normal or bell-shaped distribution curve, very important. This is the simple um, a curve. I wanna just to make it a little bit uh, complicated. Just, uh, I wanna from you to understand that uh, the we have three standard deviations on this curve. We are going to divide this curve into three standard deviations. The first standard deviation and then two standard deviation and third standard deviation. And just from, from one from you, just I want to make it simple. Yeah, so uh, till now, just please put in your mind that 69% of the data is or are within one standard deviation. And nearly 95 within two standard deviation. And nearly 99 within three standard deviation. Just keep on your mind those numbers till I give you more information. Okay. So now, um, you know, I, I said before, I don't, um, I didn't, um, you know, uh, I'm not interested to give more equation, okay, in both that, but you never understand the, the concept of standard deviation without understanding its equation. Never, ever. Okay. It will be a hell in your life. Just it, the problem can be solved easily if you understand the, the equation. I'm just, I wanted to make this equation simple a little bit. Yes, this is very simple equation. So what's the standard deviation? Simply, the standard deviation gives an idea about how far the data is from the mean. Yes, we, give, we knew now the standard, the standard tendency, the mean, but how far, how far the data as I said, just to go back to the example, when I said how do you how do you uh, how do you can say about my score in bio statistics, just we changed the standard deviation. You know, this the, my the evaluation of the uh, my score is different. Okay, so how far the data? How far the, how how far the people cluster around the mean? So how we uh, calculate it's very simply. So we subtract each value from the mean. Yeah, each value. So now I have a mean and each value I will subtract it from the mean. So this is a simple equation. I think uh, the equation will help you. This is the sum, and this is the, the value of each new data, and this is the mean. So now if I have a mean of 80, for example, as a better way. So I have this, the first uh, value is 100. So 100 minus 80, it will be 20, yes? 90 minus 80, it will be 10. And then if it is 80, it will be zero and so on and so on. And then all of those values will be collected and then divided again, again, by the number of the, of the, the data set to give us the standard deviation. And just in giving you an example, the demo, just all of those numbers, just for demo, the standard deviation is 10. This is the simplest equation ever for the standard deviation. You have to understand it. You will never understand the standard deviation without knowing this equation. So. How we calculate the standard deviation manually or how the computer does it by simply subtracting each mean, or, you know, each value from the mean, each value from the mean, each value from mean, and then finally divided by the number of the data set. That's it. This is the standard deviation, okay? <clears throat> and returning back to this curve, I'm just wanna, uh, you know, give you the, 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 the standard deviation um, concept. It provides 
how much the data <coughs> vary around their mean you have this is the concept how far how far the data varies around the mean how far the values are from the mean this is the mean and how far the data for from the mean that's it okay so just to make it simple so please keep those numbers in your mind 68 95 99 68 95 99 68 95 99 68 one standard deviation 95 two standard deviation 99 three standard deviation just giving you an example and you will understand more okay so returning back to the better weight just to suppose that the mean is 80 okay and the standard deviation is 10 how you how you can cal calculate now the first standard deviation simply one standard deviation below it will be 80 which is the mean okay this is below so 80 minus 10 70 if, but if it's above it will be 90 so this the first the, the first standard deviation will be between 70 and 90 that's it again so now i have the mean which is 80 and i after now we calculated the first the mean i think now you understand how to calculate the mean putting all the values and then divided by the number and then we calculated the standard deviation i think now you you i know how to calculate the standard deviation i got the mean now is 80 the standard deviation is 10 so one standard deviation below the mean will be 80 which is the mean minus 10 will be 70 and this one standard deviation above will be 80 plus 10 it will be 90. let's put uh, those number on a graph this is the mean and then one standard deviation above it will be 80 plus 10 it will be 90 one standard deviation on the other side it will be 70 mean that mean that 68 uh, you will understand now 68 percent of the data of the body weight between 70 and 90 kilograms and makes sense most of the people two-thirds nearly two-thirds the majority the two-thirds you know the, of the majority of the sample between 70 and 90 kilograms okay and then to standard vision it will be and then nearly 95 of the population between 60 kilograms and 100 kilograms and then nearly 99 the majority nearly nearly all except less than one percent between 50 kilograms and 110 kilograms seldomly very rare you can find a, 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 a people or a patient in my in my set uh, weighted like 45 and speaking about the adults and very rare also to have people who have overweight more than 110 this is the normal distributed care I spoke before normal distributed, normal distributed data it's not touched this is the data from the God data from Allah randomly distributed data we didn't manipulate this data this is the distribution okay so just ba going back to uh, this example making a little bit complicated okay the same example 75 I got 75 so what about my score okay so am I'm excellent or good I'm just now I'm going to fix the mean yes I'm just putting the mean the mean is the same in two examples however the standard deviation is different here if the mean is 60 and the standard deviation is 5 5 plus 5 plus 5 it's 15 so I am you know if we're returning back to the uh, this one if I if I put here the 75 okay it will be uh, here the 60 the the score is 60 65 okay 70 75 i am extreme and very very excellent here okay however however if i bought the 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 standard division of 10 60 plus 10 is 70 and then 80 so i'm okay i am at or within the two standard division so the same idea if i you know give you a very high standard deviation i am fair or bad i am fair or bad if i bought the standard the mean is 85 85 if the standard deviation is 5 85 huh? minus now when i am in the minus way i am in the minus way the first the last example i am in the positive way now i am in the here i am in the minus way 
85 minus 5 it is 80 minus 5 it is yeah, 75 I'm okay okay I got a little bit you know uh, from the mean but I'm still fair however however if the mean is 85 and the standard deviation is 3 okay I'm very bad here on if the standard deviation is 3 okay so the idea is here I'm just little may I uh, uh, this is a very different concept my, my dear really just you have to um, uh, listen to this lecture more than time to understand it okay just you cannot answer okay uh, this question unless I give you the mean not only the mean but the standard deviation okay uh, this is the pattern of data distribution this is the normal distributed data and this is something negatively skewed and the positive skewed uh, those named non-normal distributed data okay this is from this is just keratinin from the same um, uh, database that I have and the, this named non-normal distributed data or abnormally distributed data so we exhibit them with yes median and range and this it will be the next lecture but trust me we use we um, the normal distributed data is more common in our uh, data set than abnormal distributed data uh, thanks for having me in and I hope that you got a little bit idea about the standard deviation. Thanks for all and see you next lecture about uh, non-normally distributed data. Thank you.